Okay, where we left off, I was looking at my stage animation and it was just the difference between the very first frame and the last frame seemed like too much of a jump cut. So I'm going to my last frame, which is this, in my assets, and I'm building back the effect of the fern itself. So there it is. It has an outer glow effect. What I can do is just dim that effect a little bit so it, it transitions between just like that. And then I'm going to put those two layers as a group. Did not do what I wanted. There we go. Then I'm going to duplicate that and move that down. So I'm basically just adding a couple transition frames at the end to go back to the beginning. This is called setting to reset. And now on this one, I'm going to deaden that glow a little bit more. Not the opacity. Oh, shoot. I think I did the opacity overall, not just the opacity of the effect. So many different aspects to deal with with how you can control your pixels. So let me get rid of the copy. Yeah, it looks like I made the fern less opaque, not just the effect. So let me go to the whole thing, take it all up at 100% opacity, then go to the outer glow effect. And that's the opacity I want to take down. So I'll take it down to about nine. Okay, so that's the group. Then, I'll mark it green because these are the new ones I need to add. Then I'm going to duplicate that, make one more, move that down. And I am replacing this one. So I can get rid of that one. I don't need that one at all. I'm replacing, yikes, this frame. So I'm going to mark that as red. Actually, I'm not replacing that frame. Sorry, I'm just adding to it. So I'm going to keep this frame. I just need to, to get the glow to kind of come back to it. All right. So next, got that much glow on the fern. Now, going to deaden it a little bit more under effects, under outer glow, take its opacity down to 3%. You don't notice it much as a still image, but when it's moving, it will make a big difference. Okay, now I'm going to take those two groups, move them over to my stage, select them both, drop them in. They go underneath my existing one, and then I have to place them while they're still selected. These lock in. I don't have to crop them because there's nothing off of their edges. And so this is how it's going to look. Oh, I need this one. I need to change their order. There we go. So it starts with this. Then it kind of fades. Then the creature comes in, does its thing. By the end, See, it swallows the creature, and it's glowing and moving like it's a happy little fern. But then it goes back to the beginning with a little bit of that glow, and then that glow kind of goes away, like it's almost luring the, the prey to it. So this should be it. I'm going to make my frames from my layers. Oh, I have to merge them first. See, if I don't, well, let me show you this while I'm at it. Because I didn't merge those groups, it's showing me the different components of the groups. This isn't difficult to do. Uh, what you do is you simply click on the frame, and then you turn on the eyeball for all the components you want in that frame. And then I can just get rid of... Ah, ah. This is in the stage. Then I can just... 
what is it doing? <laughs> I should be able to. I don't know why it keeps clicking. There we go. And then I can just drag these frames to the trash. So this is programming and animating on the timeline. But it's a little bit more complicated to keep track of everything that way. So I prefer just to merge the group. So now you see the beginning frame and the end frame are closer to each other, at least with that glow. And then the glow subtly goes away, and then the creature comes in. So let's try playing that at point three. Oh, I have a little glitch of movement. You'll see it here. See that one pixel row shifts off. That stuff drives me nuts. And how do I fix it? I'll show you. Okay, but otherwise this is working. So how do I fix it? I'm going to go back before I outputted these, or I can just move them all to the trash, the frames. Let me merge these groups, because they are what I want. So I have to turn them on and merge them. That will rasterize the smart objects. What is going on? No, I need to go before I make frames from layers. There we go. So now if I rest, if I merge these groups, it will work. And if it's a flip book, I should just be able to click through the eyeballs from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top and it should play through. And so that looks good. So let me save it now. I think these are all of my layer assets I need to bring in. I'm going to make these no longer green. And then I'm going to say make frames from layers. I have 20 frames, not too bad. I'm going to set the timing to 0.3. If I was going to do the whole like walking in, shaking, that would probably take another 10 frames, you know, to really show that shaking movement, which would be a lot of fun, but that's not something I can get by deadline. Okay, you see that little pixel strip? This is how I'm going to fix that. And I can only see it in movement. I'm going to use my crop tool and I'm going to hold down option and just crop it from all sides just a tiny bit. Hold down option and shift. So it's just tightening the camera. That changes the image size. It was 8 inches, now it's 7.72. I'm just going to force that up to 8 in both dimensions. So I'm going to turn the padlock back on. So I still have an eight by eight square at 100 pixels per inch. That means I did just grow my pixels a tiny bit, but it's worth it not to have a little part of the side of my animation uh, glitch. Okay, now I'm gonna make frames from layers. I'm gonna set their timing. I'm gonna try not 0.3, that's just my default. I'm gonna try 0.25, let's go a little bit faster. Okay, I think 0.25 works well for the swallowing of the creature, but it's a little fast for him lumbering in. So now this is animating on the timeline. So at what point do I start speeding it up? I think from this point on it will be 0.25, but the rest, let's try 0.35, because we can set our own timing. So 
So he comes in a little bit slower, then gets sucked in. Now what if I wanted more time to pass before the next creature goes by? This is also animating on the timeline. From here to here, I just have this little movement cycle of the fern, right? So what I can do is I can select those four frames and I can copy them with the hamburger within the, the timeline options. If I copy those frames, then I can paste them and I can paste them after the selection. So now I can just play those frames through twice, those four frames. So as a little movement cycle before it starts again. I can even change their order around a little bit so it doesn't look like the exact same movement. I like maybe the exact same movement for one cycle of four, but now if I copy it again, and then paste them again. Because that repetitive movement will look like it's kind of digesting or swallowing. But now let me move some of these around, just kind of jigger them around. Let's see what that looks like. And each time it's copying the same timing, so it's just extending that, that moment. And then maybe I get rid of a frame or two, drag them to the trash, just so there's a little more jitter in the timing. So all of this is without creating any new assets. Okay, and then lastly, I want the fern to start slowing down at the end. So I can set the timing. Maybe first to point three, then maybe to point three five. And then maybe to point four. Let's see how that looks. All right, what if I want to extend the time where the, the fern is just still? I'm actually going to get rid of a few of those digesting frames. That seems like a lot. So this is refining your animation. Okay, I like that, but I want to increase the time that the frame is just, the fern is just still. But I don't want it to feel like absolutely dead space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an in-between. So I have the first frame and the second frame. I'm going to hold down Command to select both of them. Then I'm going to click on this window tool, which is tweens. These are all optional. And I'm going to create two frames in between those two frames. And it looks like this. That's because this is a crossfade. In order to get it not to show up as transparent, I need to turn the eyeball on on the background to 100% for each one. And all that's going to happen is very subtly that effect of the... Come on the effect of the glow is going to slow down. And then I can extend that even further. I can create an in-between between these two frames. Same thing. So this is where we add a lot of kind of refining frames. All right, so let's see how this looks. All right, with that slower pacing of the plant, now it makes me want to speed up the digestion part. So I'm going to go from here all the way to here. I'm going to try 0.2 seconds, not 0.25. 